It's Monday night at the Billings Saddle Club. These little guys will be led by grandmas or moms or dads or grandpas. Tucked under these rim rocks in a corner of Alkali Creek, horsemanship is appealing to riders and horses of all ages. This is um, Lena, and she is three years old. I kind of like saving his energy for the Omoxi because we like going really fast. Kind of a habit of um, flicking her head around. There you saw it, right on cue. Caleb's sister Joy rides this black and white pony called Lightning, and not just in the arena. I also like hiking up here because there's a couple springs and just some really cool rock formations and stuff. You see that white streak on his hind end? Joy likes to put sparkles on it for the appeal of a real lightning bolt. Sometimes lightning tries a little too hard to live up to his name. He likes to run away, so that's kind of what I'm teaching him not to do. That's what I love is seeing these kids perform, working their horses, training their horses. This is Corky Harkins. How many times do you hear a volunteer and, uh, PA announcer sing the Star Spangled Banner? At the twilight's last gleaming, whose broad stripes and bright stars. Of course, this billing saddle club dates back decades, and Sue Malmstrom remembers starting at age nine. She fondly recalls many a wedding party inside this historic hall. If only this room could tell stories. It's lined with pictures of past members, and so many who've kicked into the club's success. The picturesque view from inside offers a clear look at the outdoor arena, cradling a non-competitive night of Omoxi. Okay, Caleb, you're getting into position. You can go. You've got a ready light, Caleb. This is Tara Ott, who knows firsthand about this family that takes care of its own with events like annual memorial Omoxies and benefit barrel races. July of 2022, I had a really horrific horse accident that smashed my pelvis, my hip, my shoulder. Spending over three weeks in the hospital and three months confined to a wheelchair, Tara was a recipient of the Saddle Club's generosity. The good news, she's riding again, just not on this night. Because it's cold and my body's full of metal. <laughs> So I'm doing my community service for these guys and I'm coming to help them out up here. <laughs> and the help up here livens up the fun down here. <laughs> oh boy, they're having fun. Scott Breen, MTN Sports.